I'm getting an alarm that my circuit's open here. This is an underground uh, radio fence. Um, the black wire heads south around the property and the, nor and the red wire heads north. So what I'm going to do is uh, hook a wire to the black one and go to where I know that uh, I can access it and see if I find it open at that point. I've got a roll of black wire, hopefully it'll be long enough. I'm gonna attach an alligator clip to the bare wire there. And uh, roll, I'm gonna unspool this wire and go check for continuity. Hopefully this wire will be long enough. If not, I'll go get another roll. I chose this wire because the, it has one end that's, I can get to both ends of it for testing. You can see the other ends flying around there. So here's the spot I'm looking at. I drove a tractor here earlier in the day and it looks like the wire might be disturbed. I'm just gonna cut this. It looks like it's already been spliced once here. This conduit's been broken open. So I'm gonna cut this and check it right here. So I've connected uh, the ohm meter up to the wire coming from the uh, transmitter and I've got continuity. So the problem is not from here to there. I'm gonna go back now and put the wire, set the test point on the red wire and check the loop in that direction. And so all I have to do is put it on this, the red wire. And I'm gonna go check the other direction. So now I'm looking for continuity between this wire. And I'm getting an open 1.4 meg. So I've got a problem with the loop on the other end, not this end. So I'm gonna leave this connection. And this might be my point that I start with for testing. I'm gonna go check out some more of the wiring and see if I can figure out where it might be broken. Okay, so I confirmed that uh, for this conduit to opened up, this wire's connection's okay. And I'm now connecting to the other side of the loop, and it's reading uh, 0.9. But I can see if I play around with the wire, it goes all the way down to like uh, 20 some ohms. And so what I believe happened is the wire got pulled right inside of here. And so what I'm going to do is cut this conduit back a little bit. Might need a sharper cutter. So I want to cut the conduit, but not the wire. And let's see if I can pull this on out of there. I can feel a place in the wire right there. Let's see if I can hook my continuity meter up. So it feels like it's broken right in this point. So if I cut, I'm gonna cut it right here and measure it. So 
So now I've got uh, 11 ohms. It's uh, what I need to do is uh, get another piece of wire to connect here to there to restore the loop. And I'm probably going to get rid of this splice here too on this side. Let's see now. I'm just going to splice this back in. I just want to get my wireless dog fence working again. Just going to put one of these splice grip connectors on it. And I'll go back and put some silicone on the back of that. And we're going to make this generous wire here. We'll put it right there. Using some of that old blue and white wire from earlier in the day. Now they say to not change the gauge, but I don't really uh, think it's going to be a problem. Just a few feet of this back here. It's good to have some exposed places uh, of the buried wire that you can access easily to test. And I do have a few in the yard where I know I can get to the wiring. And I've had to do it a few times. Alright, so I've got the connection. Hopefully it's restored now. I'm going to go hook it up and see if it uh, silences the alarm. I can hear the alarm going off, but uh, that's okay. I don't have the loop connected at the moment. Getting ready to tie it in and see what happens. Oh yeah, success. I've got the red light there and the, uh, that indicates I've got a good circuit. And uh, the alarm has stopped sounding. So uh, sure enough, it, uh, the tractor, the weight of the tractor was enough to uh, break open the conduit and uh, damage the wiring. So a uh, quick fix.